fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, let's talk about how to feed your bristlenose plecos. Grab yourself a healthy snack and a hot beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Michael. I have a fish room in my basin with about 60 tanks. I do breed guppies and plecos for profit. I also import guppies, uh, quarantine them, and acclimatize them to our water as best as I can before I sell them. And I also sell quarries out of my basement fish room. You can check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com for all my stock and uh, purchasing and shipping and all that stuff right on that website. Easy to use. Simple, I answer pretty much every question. There's a chat option if you're interested. So let's talk about how to feed bristlenose plecos. Now this isn't rocket science, folks, but it's just common sense. But if you don't know about fish or plecos, it's not that common for you. So I figured I'd go over this again. I have a few other videos on feeding plecos. I'll leave a playlist link down below and up here for you to take a peek if you want. But Bristlenose plecos are omnivores, however they prefer mostly a plant-based diet. They also need wood in their tank. Real quick, bristlenose plecos are uh, okay with most other fish. They're not aggressive. They just need wood and a cave or someplace to hide. They are nocturnal, so you may not see them during the day very much. Um, and they do, they are pretty easy to breed. So if you have a male and a female, it's the only time you might get some aggression. They do mostly enjoy a plant-based diet, but they do require some sort of meat uh, diet as well. So I feed them mostly, like I said, a plant-based diet and some uh, omnivore type food. And very rarely will I just give them, you know, meat protein. So let's talk about some of my favorite foods and why. Now, <clears throat> I'm fine. Uh, one thing to note is you can feed your fish whatever you want, whatever works for you. But there are many ways to do things and just because your fish like it doesn't mean it's great for them. As an example, I love bacon, but I had a heart attack uh, in June of 2020 because I was eating too much bacon essentially. So just because I like it doesn't mean it's good for me. Just because the fish eat it and like it doesn't mean it's good for them. It's a discussion I had on Facebook recently. So my two favorite things to feed plecos hands down are this Dr. Basilier's green. Now this is the large size. I prefer the extra large size, which is slightly bigger, um, but I'm out of that. So I've just been feeding this, this large size. The second, my second most favorite, mostest favorite is is kelp wafers from Northfin. Uh, I just, they just really do well on them. Now just to note, the kelp wafers will uh, cloud your water if you add too many, so don't be surprised if you do that. Um, as far as other commercially based food, I really like also the ultra fresh, and I wanna make sure I get the right flavor for you. It's ultra fresh vegetables and shrimp pie, and of course, rapashi. Most of the rapashi flavors are fine for them. There's morning wood, <laughs> uh, bottom scratcher. All of them are pretty much good for uh, plecos because they have some meat protein, some wood protein, or wood in them, and some uh, omnivore or uh, uh, vegetable protein. So that's that. Now, as far as human food you can feed, I fed, I don't know, a ton of different things. And I've done videos on them as well. I'll put links up here for you. Uh, but my, my really, my favorite thing, and I learned this from Corey from Aquarium Co-op probably seven years ago was French style green beans. Let's wait for that to focus. Boom. Now, why French style green beans, you ask? Because they're fancy. They're bristlenose plecos. They like fancy food. Regalone green beans won't do it. No. Uh, I think it's because French cut means, you know, they're, they're kind of cut lengthwise. So uh, the inside is open to them and that's what they like. So now don't overthink this. If there's sea salt in there, it's fine. If they're salt free, it's fine. Buy whatever's cheapest. This is ShopRite brand. They had the can can sale last week. So I bought a couple cases, but any kind, Walmart, Target, whatever is cheap, uh, Piggly Wiggly. I just want to say Piggly Wiggly. Whatever is cheap, buy. And that's it. Now, this can <clears throat> will last one feeding in my fish room. I feed the whole can at once. Uh, but you might only feed, you know, a handful. 
you want to put in about as much food as they'll eat in one day. After that, it starts to break down and your water might get cloudy or, or water primers might start to deteriorate. So just be careful. Um, I typically leave it in until it's gone because it's gone within a day, maybe a day and a half. <clears throat> but some of the other things you can easily feed your fish, cucumber, zucchini, tofu, sweet peppers, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, pretty much anything, any fruit or vegetable that you'll eat, they'll probably eat too. I've heard of strawberries and bananas and, and all that stuff. Now, when it comes to feeding fresh vegetables and fruits, you know, if you put it in the tank, it's gonna float and they're not gonna eat it. So you wanna, you wanna sink it with something. Now, I'm not much of a gizmo and gadget kind of guy because I'm cheap and I don't like to spend additional money, but uh, a couple years ago, my buddy Keith from KGE Aquatics sent me a Pleco Keeper, I'm sorry, a Pleco Feeder. It's called, it's basically uh, this. It's that skinny wire with the, the uh, spiral on the end and it holds the food for the, the Plecos and you can put it in without getting your hand wet and risking contaminating your tank or what have you. So check out KG Aquatics. I think he's having a sale on them now. There's two sizes, large and small. And uh, I really, I really do enjoy it. Now, if you don't want one of those, or um, you know, you have a few tanks. I have a couple of those, but in many tanks, I just use an old metal fork. In fact, years ago, I used to leave the forks in a tank because I would feed cucumbers or zucchini every couple days. Uh, and people used to ask, why do you have forks in a tank? And I'm like, oh, the metal helps the water stay harder. And I would just leave it at that. And I know people were like, anyway. Um, because plecos are nocturnal, you're going to want to feed them right after you turn off the lights or just before you turn off the lights. Um, if you're on a timer, you know, just before the lights go off, drop the food in, walk away, let them eat in peace because they're nocturnal and they don't like the light typically. Uh, most of my plecos don't really care. They'll come out in the daytime or not, or, or, or nighttime, but, uh, you know, if you have a pleco, a bristlenose pleco and it's new, it might be a little skittish still, so. Keeping bristlenose plecos is quite easy in your community tank. I've done a few videos on it. I'll, I'll link those as well. Um, but just know you need wood, a cave, and good food. So any food that falls to the bottom, they'll probably eat, and it probably will be okay with them, but it's good to stick with a good high quality diet for healthy, healthy fish. That does it on how to feed plecos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have any comments or questions, of course. And uh, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, for healthy plecos, guppies, and quarries. See ya! Uh, they do mostly enjoy a plant best up plant. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Happy Friday! It's Friday here in South Jersey. Hopefully you're watching this on Friday, maybe even Saturday, but there's a ginormous snowstorm coming, a snowpocalypse, if you will. Again, I've seen forecasts anywhere from one to 12 inches. So who knows how much snow we're gonna get. Today, let's talk about, who cares? Let me know in the comments below what you think I should, let me do, that doesn't even, that's not even English. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. Today, like I said, we're going to be talking about how to feed bristlenose plecos. Now, before we get started with that, no, 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 nope, zero. Hiya, Fishy. <coughs> Leftover Rona, stand by. Uh, most Tetris stuff and all this, the APA stuff, uh, API. 